It's a moment a lot of people are talking about on social media, online. Uh, very significant moment uh, during the Golden Globes. There's absolutely no doubt that she put so much power and passion into that speech because I think she articulated what everyone who was listening thought and she put it so forcefully. I mean this was the most decorated uh, Golden Globe uh, performer. She had 30 nominations, 8 wins and she really chose her example so well, I thought. It really was one of those speeches. There were several uh, moving speeches mm. during the ceremony, Ryan Gosling's particularly, but this one really hit its target. It was a bullseye. What about Jimmy Fallon, um, his performance? He, he got a little political as well. Uh, how did he do? Uh, well, I thought he did rather well. I mean, I find Ricky Gervais, who did it four times, uh, far too personal, too egotistical. Fallon has a gentler style, but there were some very good and very funny knocks at Donald Trump. I mean, Tina Fey and Ailey Pula were the perfect duo for me. But <laughs> I thought Fallon did rather well, and also the material. I mean, the standard of the work was absolutely excellent. For The Crown to do as well as it did, I was delighted at that. For the night manager to do as well as it did, this was super. And also for the people versus O.J. Simpson, I mean, this was much praised rightly. So both in the film section and the television, they, we had a lot to cheer about. And I, although I think the likes, for example, Nocturnal Animals, I would have liked it to have done better. Mm -hmm. And the prizes were shared out between La La Land, which of course took the lion's share, and uh, Manchester by the Sea and Moonlight. Moonlight, a very important victory. It keeps its hopes alive for the Oscars. It so does. winning in the drama category, a very, very pleased about that. I thought that was absolutely excellent. Richard, Fitz you, Emma Stokewing. Richard Fitzwilliams, thank you so much for being with us.